Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever time it is that you're watching this video, thanks once again for clicking on the Penboy Roy Fountain Pen Review channel. The subject of today's video is the Montegrappa Moon Landing Open Edition Fountain Pen. Started, I want to announce that I've started a new podcast called the Pentertainment Podcast. It's available on iTunes. The link is in the description below. It's not a pen review podcast, but more so a podcast about pens and stuff involving pens. Check it out if you're interested, or don't if you aren't fully able to tolerate more of my face noise. Now, onto our pen. I've been over the Montegrappa brand history in the past with my previous reviews. Check those out if you're interested in more specific information. As for our pen here, the moon landing, Montegrappa has joined the march in paying homage to the 50th anniversary of the United States landing a man on the moon. And the best thing about it is, it doesn't at all involve Ryan Gosling. There are three iterations with the highest tier version being made of titanium and gold, costing north of $47,000. A medium tier pen made of resin and sterling silver costing north of $8,000. And finally, our pen here, the open edition, aka non-numbered and non-limited, made of aluminum costing much less. That's all I have for the background information. Moving on to the neutral zone, those elements about the pen that are neither good or bad, or can be good or bad, depending on you. The nib is a number six size stainless steel nib with the brand logos and brand name covering the face of the nib. At the bottom of the nib is an F to indicate that this is a fine. The feed is a standard Yovo feed. The nibbed feed are friction fit into a Yovo nib housing that is, as in many Montegrappa pens, fixed to the inside of the section to maintain alignment of the nib with other elements of the pen. The section is a flat tapered cylinder with metal brackets at the top and bottom. The section threads are a metal assembly that screws into the metal thread assembly of the barrel that has thick threads on the outside used in capping. The rest of the barrel is laser engraved with designs to pay homage to the Apollo 11 rocket. The barrel ends with a set of threads used for posting the pen, followed by an end cap that is a fixed straight cylinder. The bottom of the pen is a polished metal flat surface. The cap is tapered with a section design to emulate the look of the Apollo 11, and, like the barrel, is laser engraved with designs to pay homage to the Apollo 11. The finial is a flat surface and is the narrowest part of the pen when capped. The clip is designed to look like the elevator thing that astronauts take up to get into the cabin of the rocket and is rather stiff. The pen was packaged in a white cardboard sleeve. Remove that sleeve and you have a shoebox style box with the Apollo 11 logo on top. Open that up and you have your standard looking replica astronaut space collection box that astronauts collect stuff in while in space and then accidentally bring back to Earth alien life forms that possess people and kill people and eat people and stuff. Open that up and you have your pen sitting atop a bedding. Underneath the bedding is a secret compartment with an included polishing cloth to wipe away tarnish on a pen that won't actually ever tarnish, as well as a dime bag with a couple of ink cartridges and a Montegrappa booklet with artwork on the cover dedicated to the moon landing, with nothing actually written on the inside of the booklet about the moon landing. That's all I have for the neutral zone, moving on to the good. Those elements about the pen that are good. This pen has a Yovo nib. It writes as good as any Yovo nib writes. It's smooth and sufficient in its ink flow, bordering on ever so slightly wet. While it is smooth, it has a feedback that is noticeable, yet not distracting. It's slight enough that a lover of smooth nibs can certainly love this writing experience, at the same time satisfy lovers of nibs with a little more texture. It's pretty awesome in how it writes. The balance posted elongates this pen somewhat, but surprisingly makes the pen very comfortable. When unposted, although not entirely unbalanced, it seems a bit weird due to its overall girth. Let me talk about the build. Overall, the pen is solid and sturdy. It's not as heavy as one would think, but substantial in the hand. I also really appreciate the fact that the designs are laser engraved into the pen as opposed to painted on. This means over time it won't scratch off or fade as easily. It also makes the matte finish feel cool and nice when holding. Lastly, I love the look. The sheer aesthetic is just plain cool. That's all I have for the good. Moving on to the bad. Let's talk coin. This pen has an MSRP of $495. With retailers here in the US, you can score this pen for a whopping $395. So that's $400 for an aluminum rocket with a steel nib. That may seem like it's getting hit over the head, but it is par for the course when it comes to Montegrappa. Throw in the fact that it's a possible collectible, there is an argument for its value, but then again, it is an open edition. More on that later. 
That's all I have for the bad. Moving on to the ugly. Those elements about the pen that should not be, but are. There is a high level of quality packed into this pen. Everything about it is solid and on point from the way it writes to its build. But I wouldn't be me if I didn't have something to gripe about, which I do, so here goes. First, and this is a really minor thing, is the converter. It's not a standard Schmidt converter. No, it's one of the slightly smaller ones. The reason for this is that the barrel can't accommodate the full-size Schmidt converter, and this pen being as thick and bulky as it is, it seems odd that there isn't more space at the end of the pen to accommodate the slightly longer Schmidt converter. There is also a nominal difference in ink capacity, with the one in our pen being slightly less, and although it's most likely not even noticeable, I know. And that's enough for me to bitch about it. Not a deal breaker, but there nonetheless. Next is the alignment and the engravings. Now, this may be isolated to my pen alone, but as I have said in the past, I can only treat the pen I have as a representation of the line as a whole. If you look at the alignment, you'll notice that the clip is slightly off-center with the gray bracketed markings on the barrel, and further down, the USA that's centered between the gray areas is not in line with the clip on the cap. It's very slight, but enough to be noticeable, and that sincerely drives me crazy. That's all I have for the ugly. It's high noon, decision-making time. Should you or should you not pull the trigger on the Montegrappa Moon Landing Open Edition Fountain Pen? So this is not the most clear-cut decision out there. There are a lot of factors to consider. For example, had this pen been a limited numbered edition, I could definitively say and easily say, yeah, pull the trigger on it. It's a collectible and it's limited. They won't be around forever. Get them before they're gone, etc. But the fact that it's a regular edition and available for the foreseeable future, it's kind of like, well, Okay, you got a pen that's a rocket. And the conversation as to whether you should jump on this changes. And the need for buying it immediately runs through a tired of criteria. For example, if you're in the market for a pen that's like, uh, you know, not a rocket, or have no interest in the moon landing, or think the movie First Man sucked, then this is not the pen for you. If you don't like the larger, clunkier pens, this is not the pen for you. If you're buying a pen strictly for its utility and the way it writes, then this is not the pen for you since there are many other Yovo Nib choices out there. However, if you're a person who appreciates history or collectibles or pens that are unique in design or, you know, you really like rockets, then this is an easy choice. Yeah, pull the trigger. It is certainly a well-made pen and it merits its cost for some, just not for everyone. That was my review of the Montegrappa Moon Landing Open Edition Fountain Pen. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys. Be well, be safe.